again, it, it blows my mind that to some people, the flat earth issue is so important that they will get hostile, angry, um, belligerent with any if even fellow believers who buy into the conspiracy that the earth is actually a globe that revolves around the sun. Are there still people who say that the earth is flat? Yes, yes, there are. Hey guys, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus, and Mars are set to align on the nights of March 25 through 30, alongside the Moon. If you want to spot all five planets, try to look shortly after the sunset to the west. Five, four, three, two, one! Call it a parade on the celestial scale. Five planets of our cosmic neighborhood are lighting up our night skies. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus and Earth's moon all would literally come together. The planets and our natural satellite would appear in a rare planetary conjunction. If you look in the west soon after sunset, you'll be able to see a spectacular parade of five planets, four of which are visible to the naked eye. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus, and Mars will form an arc alongside the waxing moon. This rare planetary parade will be visible from March 25th through 30th. However, if you want to see all five planets simultaneously, you must plan ahead. Timing, dark skies, and a clear view of the horizon are critical. In the heliocentric model of the universe, our sun is at the center of a solar system, orbited by the planets in the order of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's start with Venus. As soon as the sun dips below the horizon, look in the west. The brightest speck of light you will see will be Venus shining at an impressive magnitude of minus 3.9. Due to this arrangement, as you can see in the following image, since Mercury and Venus are situated closer to the Sun than the Earth, an observer on Earth would have to always be facing the Sun in order to view them. If an Earth observer was on the dark half, facing away from the Sun, it would of course be impossible to see Mercury or Venus because the entire mass of the globe Earth they believe they're standing on would be in the way, blocking their ability to see Mercury, Venus, and the Sun. As long as you have clear skies and a view of the western horizon, the parade can be seen from anywhere on our planet. This means that in the heliocentric model, the only time an observer on Earth should ever be able to see Mercury and Venus is during the day when the Sun is also visible. Jupiter, Venus and Mars can be seen by the naked eye due to their higher brightness. However, you will require a telescope to pinpoint Uranus in the evening sky, which is only 3.5 billion kilometers away from us. For hours before dawn and hours after dusk, these luminaries can be seen shining bright with the Sun nowhere to be found. Again, if these luminaries were truly orbiting around the heliocentric solar system, 
the only times they could be visible to an observer on Earth, the Sun would also be visible. Last summer, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn came together in a similar rare planetary conjunction. When we film Venus two hours before sunrise, or two hours after sunset, however, the reality is that the globe Earth would be 210 degrees away from the sun, with hundreds of miles of curved Earth blocking their view to anything on the other side, and no line of sight possible. Astronomers explain that this kind of alignment takes place when the orbits of these heavenly bodies line them up on one side of the Sun from Earth's perspective. For an observer on the globe Earth to be able to see Mercury and or Venus at nighttime is simply impossible. This is just one of hundreds of such proofs that you are not living on a tilting, wobbling, spinning space ball in a CGI solar system. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.